And here is the final door of this area. Actually, it's probably not. Hold it! How'd you guys get in here? I thought we destroyed the bridge! You do realize the population of this place is flying, right? Shut us thy trap, foul one. Speak doth my father feller farewell. If thou hast hurt a whisker on his face, I shall end all oh, that is you. With my flappity flap powers. W w what? You little brat. Hey, you guys, fall in! Now, you may think that's trouble, but really, it's just one really large combo. <coughs> you want to see how scary we can be, little girly? Well, take a good look. <coughs> oh dear, there seems to be a lot of them. I don't know... I didn't know there were so many left. <coughs> Calm thy mind! I shall handle them! You, at long last, my strength, return to me! And now these fiends shall fear the grip harvest of my NIMBY fury! The hour is nine, NIMBY Brigade! Art thou ready? Yeah! <coughs> you know, I, I really think you guys should have some, some um, weapons? Maybe that would help? As thou fear of these fiends from the underwear. Nay! Oh, although. Oh, although, cuz you got an army, huh? All tough because you got an army. Let's see how you do against mine! We're going down! <coughs> thou art toast! That was the most perfect quote to do with the uh, Shakespearean text. And now, Nimbig Brigade, ahem! Charge! Units, charge! No mercy! Let me just sort of run through this. Although it'd probably be more efficient to have carry. I love how it shows both the uh, Skull Guys and the uh, Nimbys falling. Yeah, you can't actually attack the flying people. <clears throat> and here, with an Ultra Shroom, you arrive at the Fabled Area. Fabled Area? What am I thinking? Anyways, so... Welcome to the eighth boss. Who well, you would? Yeah, she's probably in more than more than eight with the uh, guys cut in, but like, <coughs> I'll just go into it. <coughs> so the boss of this area, truly, he must be a formidable foe after cutscene. Oh no! Father, father, art thou all right? Live be, thou should not have come flee from here. Oh. <laughs> A touching scene to be sure. I am a thing. Hey, you're the boss of all those crazy guys who escaped the underwear, aren't you? A pleasure to make your acquaintance, I assure you, mine. You assure me your name is Bone Jill? You don't know? Like, with absolute certainty? You just assure me? I am something of an evil celebrity in certain circles of the underwear. That may be, but my father shall never give you the pure heart, so give it up! Oh dear, ignorant child, you really don't know a thing, do you? How charming! What does... dost thou mean? 
I speak of the PR heart. And I speak of you, Livvy! It is you! What? Sayest thou? The pure heart was hidden ingeniously to keep it away from evil sorts like me. Gramby changed the pure heart into a NIMBY that he called his own daughter. <laughs> that is just silly. My mother and father. Oh, priceless. You really think Gramby pays an ounce of attention to you out of love? That. No! That lies! Father, say something! The. <laughs> <coughs> ha ha, the old fool can't weigh the sins of others, but not his own. This cannot be. Livy, we can talk about this later. Right now, just take Granby to safety. Quickly! Okay. <coughs> Many thanks for delivering the pure heart. Once I deal with you, none can stop me. I shall be invincible. Please, as your game eh, games end, remember it is an honor to have ended by my talons. It ducks big game. Guess I need to feed him. Ow. Okay, I screwed it up a little. Also, he's not slashing with freaking ice thing. Okay, I'm now behind him. Okay, so that was essentially it. For all, like that was very poor on my part. But like the first time I did it, I charged up with Luigi, like sort of just like got on top of him, and it just kept bouncing on his head, and he was dead in mere seconds. Rawr! How impossible! How could puny worms destroy a monster of the cold dark? <coughs> Too easy. Thou hast done a fine job. Thou hast savest our realm. Father, the words of that thing were lies, yeah? Thou and mother art my parents. Well, live be. Live be! Mother! I had not received word of your safe arrival, so I came looking. Are you well? Speakest thou to me now, mother, father, and thee? Art thou verily my parents? Wait a minute, why do you... What? Pretty mother, speakest the truth to me. Live be, you... You are not really our child. So it is true. The pure heart was always in danger of falling into the hands of evil, darling. So Grams and I decided to transform it into a shape that no one su would suspect. And that was me. What? What was that? The pure heart doth struggle against the Libby identity. It seeketh its true form. It doth sense someone nearby worthy of possessing it. It must be these fair folk. So, uh, haha! <laughs> that says I meant to be with him. He verily is my prince. This doth stink! He is completely wrong for me. I speak as seriously to you, this have no humor to it. Fine, I shall return to my pure heart form and I shall go with Mario and his friends. Thou art certain? Yes, I am certain I shall return to the form that allows me to freak save all the dimensions! 
The vow turn us back into the pure heart. The NIMBY known as Levi will cease to exist. This is sort of a odd way to put it. Nay, perhaps I already have. I remember being the pure heart now, in truth. And the, wor and the world would end if I did not do it, so... Is this not so? So I should just... Wait, why do I explain myself to thee? Thou art not my real father, so quiet! W what? Think of all the times thou hast scolded me! Thou didst know I was not long for this world, why does that not let me have fun? Nay, instead I suffered an angry fake father and a nagging fake mother. I had no life. How dost thou plan to make that up to me? Livy! Sayest thou what thou wilt to me, but take not to thy mother that way. Perhaps thy sash shall end once thou changest form. What dost... <coughs> God... I'll wait for. Oh, give me a break. I must do it whenever. Th must do it whether thou wish or not. It sh it shall be a relief. Thou art an ungrateful brat. Does thou not recall when I lingered by thy ill bedside? I scoffed at thy lingering. What is thou not giveth me back the present I brought with my saved allowance? What the. What madness doth spew from thy lips? Who gave of thee that allowance? And thou didst lie to get the money too. Thou didst pretend to buy school books. How dost thou dare to lecture on lying? And why dost you think I lied? I thought that mother in thee. I thought that thou wouldst be happy. The pair of thee, thou art not real parents. I, I, I hate thee. That is enough, Libby. <coughs> is true that we created you as a means of protecting the pure heart. Cramps and I came to love you as a true daughter. We wanted to be with you for all time and to protect you. You became part of us. Perhaps we were wrong to create you, and if only we if we only caused pain, we apologize. Oh, mother, thou needest not apologize, my dear mother. Thank thee. <coughs> the pure heart doth wish to assume its original form. Live thee. Tippy, take as good care of the real me, and save us the world, yea? Such is my final wish, so dost <coughs> not do it, thou art most unkind. I understand. Father, mother, fare thee well. Live be. Oh, my darling! I'm sorry for lying earlier. The truth, I... I love thee. Both. And the final pure heart! Live be. Now ye prophesied ones, destined heroes, take his daughter, dear daughter. Take his the pure heart. Okay, Granby! And thou swear of this to me, thou must prevail! Let no one else in the universe feel this sadness! Okie dokie! <laughs> Luigi is best response! Very well, then I am satisfied. Now, Libby, thou must go. Oh, Grams. <coughs> oh, the Pixies dance! You gotta Libby! I mean, Pureheart. End up.